All right, 1,000 subs. Uh, here we are, I'm finally doing my Q&A. Um, so to celebrate 1,000 subs, uh, here we go. Oh fuck, that actually, how the fuck did I do that? All right, there you go. That's a little something for you, something for me. Um, think of it as a champagne bottle. I don't have drinks, damn it. You know what, I was planning to drink uh, during this video, but one, I didn't know when I was gonna be able to record. Um, but don't worry, I'll drink during the Oscars ceremony. So you guys can look forward to that. But yeah, um, you know, first, thank you, a thousand subs. Um, it's been it's been a little bit since I hit a thousand. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, just thank you guys so much. I never thought I would get this, like, especially as fast as I did. I think at the beginning of the year, I had like 200, 300, something like that. So yeah, thank you. I uh, don't know why you guys are fucking watching me, but I appreciate it nonetheless. So obviously I've been asking for some questions, so uh, I'm just going to kind of go through them. Uh, I did not like look at these questions like prior really, or at least I didn't think about them. So these are all going to be off the dome. So here we go. All right. Stupendous. What's up? Uh, he asks or she, I don't know. Uh, what are your favorite directors? What are some of your favorite directors? Okay. Uh, yeah, I figured a question like this would be coming. So, um, let's see. So I love Damien Chazelle. I know he's only made a couple. I don't give a fuck. Awesome. Uh, David Fincher is probably the one that sticks out the most just because he's also had like way more movies than like Chazelle, obviously. Um, but I don't know. I mean, I like pretty much all directors. I mean, Chazelle and Fincher are probably honestly my one and two, if I'm being honest in whatever order, but I, I don't like hate like any other direct actually i'll answer this um you know I, I obviously i really like christopher nolan i like tarantino i like scorsese whatever i don't consider them like my personal favorites just because i have attachments to the other ones but a director i actually don't like is tom hooper <laughs> um not only because he stole david fincher's oscar which is just obvious but uh i genuinely don't really like his movies um now i haven't seen all of them obviously uh, I, I am actually really surprised at how much I don't like the King's Speech. I think it's terrible. Lame as a Rob. I'm good. Thanks. The Danish Girl. It's fine. It's okay. Um, what else? Fucking Cats. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I'm good on Tom Hooper. Want to say anything else about that? Nah, I think I'm good. All right. Uh, let's see. Question. I want to try to make movie related videos for YouTube. Don't have a lot of time. So I'm going to school. What are some tips you have for people who want to try to make videos about movies? Um... See, I mean, you're still in middle school, damn. I mean, one, just go have fun with middle school. Like, you know, like live live your life, uh, have fun, hang out with your friends. Um, but really, it's just whatever time you do have, man, just f fucking make one. Uh, I, I think middle schoolers just all have phones now, right? Like all have iPhones, right? Yeah, like they gotta be. So honestly, you don't need a fucking camera or a mic like I do here. Just use your phone. Like I've... I've done that before, like, I have some really, really old videos on a, a channel that I obviously don't use anymore, oh, it's shitty, but, yeah, just use your phone, just do whatever you can, and just, uh, fucking make a video, like, once you've just put one out, you can just call yourself a creator if you want, um, but, yeah, honestly, don't, don't stress about it, like, have fun in middle school, uh, Jacob, my most, my the most basic question, all right, my most basic question. Uh, what's your favorite actor and actress? Anyway, so glad to see your new video. I've been waiting for it since I saw nominations personally. Well, thank you. Um, favorite actor and actress? Yep, I knew these questions were coming. This one I genuinely don't know. Um, I mean, actresses that I like. Uh, I mean, I like... Honestly, probably Emma Stone, actually, is probably my favorite actress. Um, not only do I think she's amazing, but uh, she's from Arizona. And I'm from Arizona. And, uh, you know, that there's a reason I say Arizona's own with her. So, yeah, I think uh, I think she's awesome. I love Emily Blunt. Um, Lupita Nyong'o's great. Tony Collette. Um, uh, you know, there once again, there's others. It's not like I dislike any real actress, really. Um, but, yeah, just that's some um, actor. Uh, let's see. I like Adam Driver. I like Ryan Gosling. As much as I hate to say it, I do like Timothy Chalamet. It's nice to see someone my age that I could probably, as I grow up, I'll just continue seeing him in movies. And obviously, you know, Leo, Denzel. It's all real basic. I'll give you a non-basic answer. I like Bill Hader a lot. Uh, I fuck with Bill Hader. I think he's hilarious. Um, okay, thanks for the question. That one Asian. Why did you choose the name Film Drunk? 
Okay, I'm glad I'm glad someone asked me this. Okay, here we go. Here's my full answer here. So, I feel like I heard a lot that like cinema is just dying. The only the only movies people care about are superhero movies, event movies, whichever, which I'm not even going to argue with that. Um, but from like some people I know and like ask, like they don't one they don't just don't care about it, but also like these film critics like they don't they don't fucking care about their opinion. Like like they they have an opinion that film critics are not only pretentious, but they just open up a thesaurus and just start spitting, right? So that's on one hand. So where does film drunk come in? One, I don't consider myself a critic, but I just like drunk because it implies that this is like very like, I don't know, natural, unorthodox. Like I'm not gonna sit here and like I said, open up a thesaurus, tell you about how how moving this movie was, even though I would, right? I just I mean, like I cuss a lot. I'm just like, yeah, it's fucking good. So like, go fucking watch it. So I, I don't know. I just think it's easier to relate to to hearing something like that versus something else. My answer is really all over the place. But yeah, basically just applying that like this isn't too serious, and you know we're just having fun, and obviously just talking about it. I want everyone to see good movies, and obviously I'll express that. But I, I don't need to express it in a way that doesn't relate to people my age, because if movies are going to continue. They need the younger people to, you know, kind of carry it forward, right? So uh, there you go. There's a shitty answer. Uh, from George, what's up? Uh, he says, what Oscar win made you the most upset? My answer is basic, but it was a green book winning best picture in every award Bohemian Rhapsody won. Yeah, so I'm not going to sit here and act like I was super upset when Crash won over Brokeback Mountain. I promise I didn't even know those movies existed at that age uh, during that time. So in terms of the ones where I really started paying attention, it is hands down Rami Malek winning Best Actor. Uh, no, I have no hard feelings toward Rami Malek. I think he's actually pretty good. I'm excited for him in No Time to Die, the James Bond movie. But um, what the fuck? What the fuck? That doesn't make any sense. I would have given it to Bradley Cooper in a fucking heartbeat. Uh, I don't understand that one at all. So that's definitely the one, at least where I paid attention. That's the one. If you were the Academy... Uh, let's see, from CJ Hart, if you were in the Academy, or if you were the Academy, what films are you putting in for Best Picture? Um, I mean, I guess, I mean, that could really just be my top 10 movies of 2020, but I also understand I kind of have to keep everything, I have to take everyone's opinion to count. Um, I don't know. Honestly, I'm fine with these movies. Um, if I was doing 10, I would add Soul. And I would add another round. There we go. From Sushi Rule, how does it feel carrying the entire Asian race on your back in regards to the Oscars? So I had to, I have, I had to give that one a thumbs up. That's the fucking hilarious question. Um, I don't, I don't know. If that is the case, then I am here for it. Uh, represent. All right. I mean, we we doing pretty good. I gotta say, you know, we just won Parasite, right? Just got Parasite. Fucking PGA uh, winner is announced tonight as i'm recording this so who knows what happens there but you know minati is going uh, pretty good so i don't know how does that feel it's all right <laughs> it's all right uh, i don't know if this question is for the q a but it says is he alan kim or is alan his son yes matt asks what's my favorite coen brothers film um inside lewin davis 100 percent. fucking love that movie uh blake how long have you been into movies um i don't know like as far as like how I am now, not too long, only in a couple years. Uh, so, you know, I, I'm definitely not well versed in like Oscars and shit like that. I haven't seen every single movie. I haven't even seen all that that was nominated from 20, the 18 Oscars. So, I'm, um, but a couple years and I'm definitely fully in it now. But, you know, just growing up, I was always someone that if my friend was like, hey, want to watch a movie? I was just like, yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm down. Because I know, you know, I have some friends, I know some people who, if you say, hey, do you want to watch a movie? They'll just be like, nah. So, I was never that person. What is the one film ever that never got an Oscar nom for anything, but you wish got a nom for the Oscars from Brendan? Um, oh gosh. So, I must, I must try to stay recent, right? Because, you know, I, I'm sure I can go all the way back. But recently, um, I'll say Hereditary, because Hereditary is fucking awesome. New Ways Entertainment. Uh, are you interested in working in the industry? What have... What of stories about the Asian American experience you want to tell? Or like Chloe Zhao, do you want your per own personal life to be removed from your art? 
So am I interested in working in the industry? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I definitely would be. Um, and the fact that I'm answering it kind of nonchalantly maybe means it's just not destined to. Um, I always thought, I, you know, just the past couple of years that I wanted to be like on set as someone. But, you know, I've also I also think about the future a lot. And I know how much time making movies makes. Um, and I don't know, I kind of, I always think about this with like NBA players or something where they have to like play a game on like their anniversary or like a birthday or something. I don't know if I want to miss those moments in life for, you know, by working on a movie. Uh, that's pretty deep. I gotta say that's pretty deep, but, um, I, I, yes, I'm still interested in working in the industry. Uh, obviously I would, you know, in a, in a perfect world, I would want to work in like a movie studio not necessarily on set, but maybe being the ones to like greenlit uh, projects and decide budget and stuff like that. Maybe some marketing um, or just be in the this sphere right here, the award circle or just critic circle, whatever. Um, in terms of what stories about the Asian American experience, I don't know. I mean, I feel like I'm not sure, you know, since I'm just doing this off the top of my head, I don't know if I have anything like really new to say that hasn't been said already. Uh, I feel like I would more so be like Chloe Zhao, maybe just tell other stories, and maybe keep my personal life out of it, unless I think of something pretty awesome. But I gotta say, my life is a uh, pretty normal, so I don't know. Uh, Q and A, love from Korea. Yep. Yeah, what? What's up? Uh, what's your favorite movie of all time? So this is gonna sound okay. So it's a very recent movie, and if you're on letter my letterbox, which is in the description, you you can see it there. It is La La Land. Um, I did not want to see that movie in theaters. My girlfriend took me to it. Uh, all I heard was it was getting a bunch of Oscars. It was a musical and it's like a romance movie and musicals and romance movies are not my thing at all. I think they share a lot of the same problems and I just don't really enjoy them. So I didn't want to go to the theater. And when I saw it, it didn't even hit me the first time. Like I didn't like walk out of that theater being like, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen. Kind of took its time on me where I couldn't stop thinking about it. And like looking back, I think that's what made me realize like what like movies can do to people. <laughs> God, that sounds so cheesy. But yeah, it really kind of made me like fall in love with like the the storytelling of a film. So that's that's the one right there and the ending will never be topped. So there you go. Uh let's see Clay Miller just to make sure someone asked all the basic questions. Favorite movie did that. Favorite TV show? Very basic answer, but uh, it is The Office. It got me through college, and uh, I think it is hilarious. Favorite director? Kind of talked about that. Actor, actress? Kind of talked about that. Documentary? Man, I barely watch documentaries. I'm trying to get better at it since, you know, over the years. Um, Documentary? I don't know. I mean, I like Free Solo a lot. I I really haven't watched that. I like Boy State, too, so I don't know. Favorite songs? Oh, geez, man. I'm not going to have a favorite song, if I'm being honest. I go through ups and downs with music. I obviously love music a lot, but I do get tired of it a lot. Um, I'll tell you, I'm I'm into like rap and hip hop. So I like Kendrick Lamar. I like Drake. Okay, listen, it's okay to like Drake. All right. Um, Yeah, I guess Kendrick and Drake for the most part. Travis Scott too. He's cool. What is your most anticipated film of 2021? So I actually have a video on that. Um, now, I could change it because, you know, more movies have been announced, but uh, it's still Dune. So I know that's really basic, but it is Dune. Uh, let's see. Stupendous again. Who do you think is the most overdue person for an Oscar? Um, listen, I, I know people want me to say Glenn Close, but I am going to go with David Fincher just because I still cannot believe he lost to Tom Hooper for the King's Speech. I can at least understand how it won picture. But best director? Yeah, fuck no. Get the fuck out of here. Um, do you plan to work in the industry? Is being a film critic an option for you? So kind of answer that. But um, is being a film critic an option for you? I mean, definitely. I don't know how I would uh, do that. But, um, you know, besides like writing for a bunch of like journals and um, stuff. But is an option? Yeah, definitely. I'm not like going to hold my breath on it though. From Archie, who is the most exciting director working today? Okay, so I'll answer this. In terms of like new directors, because like, you know, you can say like Scorsese, but he's been around. So I'm gonna say most exciting. I'm gonna think of someone new, newer. 
I mean, I, I don't know if Chazelle counts, but I mean, definitely. Um, you know what? I'll go uh, Jordan Peele. I'll go Jordan Peele. I think he's made two bangers. I loved Us. Obviously, Get Out was fucking amazing. I think he's uh, can really do something for for the industry. What will your reaction be if Yo Jung Yoon won Best Supporting Actress at the Oscars? Yo, I don't even, I don't fucking know. I just, I want Minari to walk away with something, and I'm very worried it's gonna end up getting nothing. So that would be amazing, um, but I don't know. I might, I might break a TV. I don't know. Uh, when will you and the Oscar expert collab? Yo, you gotta, you gotta ask him. I don't, I don't know. I would be, he would be the one kind of reaching downwards if he collabed with me. I would be reaching upwards. So you would have to ask him. Um, I mean, I, I, I think their channel is fucking awesome. I think they're hilarious and it's nice to see. I feel like we'd get along just because we're like around the same age and shit, but whatever. You gotta, you gotta ask him. What is your favorite Oscar win of all time? Parasite. Uh, what's your least favorite? Uh, just talked about that. Rami Malik. Sorry. Do you like tofu from Sushi Roll? Uh, weird question, but I, I respect the question. Um, yeah, yeah, I like I like tofu. I mean, I don't I don't cream my pants over it, but I I definitely like it. Um, yeah. What are your favorite films from 2010 through 2019? Oh, Jesus. Um, The Social Network, La La Land, Whiplash, Parasite, um, Manchester by the Sea. <laughs> Fuck, I got another thing. Steve Jobs, listen, I think I like Steve Jobs more than anyone else in the world. Moneyball, so a lot of Sorkin. Uh, man, this is off the top of my head, so this is really bad. This is embarrassing. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Um, oh, Get Out, Get Out, duh. Get Out, um, Interstellar, uh, let's see, The Wolf of Wall Street, Moonlight, Marriage Story, Hereditary, Inside Out um toy story 3 fuck yeah toy story 3 inside lewin davis spotlight um birdman lady bird okay i I would, I would keep going i don't want to go too long but uh I'll, there's a lot uh q a do you enjoy classic movies or world cinema if so what are some of your faves if not then why not and as always love the content appreciate you um do i enjoy classic movies yeah yeah i do so um i think it's interesting you know i was i was born in 97 so like most people, and, you know, like I said, I didn't get into movies until a little bit later. It's not exactly like I'm clamoring to go watch a movie from the 1950s, right? I feel like whenever you're born, you kind of stay around that area for the most part. But uh, I'm definitely going back and rewatching a lot of, quote, classics, um, finding out a lot that I don't like, uh, and a lot that I love. So, uh, yeah, that's that's really cool. I'm I'm trying to you know broaden my horizon. All right, so I'm trying. When's Zack Snyder's Justice League review? Oh yo, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That feels like a lose lose situation for me. I'm not sure. Um, let's see. What got you started making YouTube videos about movies? Love your videos and reviews on Letterbox. Give them up. Thank you. Uh, what got me started? So I had a small, brief stint, uh, like writing for uh, a film journal journalist place um and i i kind of just thought to myself i'm like listen if i want to do this like either as a hobby like more seriously or even as a career i don't think this is the route for me not that i don't enjoy writing or i'm necessarily bad at writing it's just i think it would be really hard to stand out and kind of work your way up um through these small journalist place so I've always, you know, done like YouTube videos and stuff like that. I enjoy editing and creating videos. So I just said, uh, maybe that's the best route. So I I, I planned it for a while and I just started doing it. So there you go. Q&A from Jared. What film character do you relate to the most? Um, I don't know. Maybe a goob from Meet the Robinsons. (laughs) He's just uh, down on his life right there. Um, no, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, that's, that's a tough question. I'd like off the top of my head. I have no idea. Um, maybe, maybe I'm like, uh, what's his name? Henry in marriage story, the kid. See what I'm, see what I'm insinuating? No, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't like Henry in that fucking movie either. I don't know. A Q and A. What's your favorite movie slash TV shows? Okay. So we're getting some of the same. Uh, like I said, the office is great. Um, I am watching the boys right now. It's pretty good. 
Um, fucking SpongeBob, SpongeBob, Drake and Josh, a lot of classics. Um, yeah, that's fine. Uh, so Q&A, do you have a letterbox? If so, what is it? Uh, yes, I do. It's in the description. What do you think of Circus's Apes trilogy? I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. I like him. I I would dare I say underrated, underrated. But um, yeah, I definitely like them. Rank the best picture nominees for this year. Oh fuck, I didn't think about that. Um, shit, I don't know. I mean, off the top, I've only seen The Father once. Um, let's see, off the top of my head, um, even though I like all of them, I would, I guess I'll do Mink, right at the bottom. I like Mink though. Honestly, maybe Nomad. I don't know. Ah, fine. I'll do Mank. Then Nomadland. Then I will do... I will... I'll put... I'll put The Father since I've only seen it once. And I, you know, it's okay. I'll do The Father. I'll do Judas. Sound of Metal. Promising Young Woman. Uh, Chicago and Menard. Did I get everyone? Yeah, I think that's everyone. Yeah, there you go. That, that's my thing. Uh, have you seen Peanut Butter Falcon? Yes, I have. I think it's great. It's a great movie. Um, now I'll just kind of go through uh, just some random comments, not exactly any questions, but um, I'll just kind of go through some of them, any that stand out to me. It's great your dad and grandma were nominated. Yes, it is. Yes, it fucking is. It's fucking awesome. It's an amazing lineup for Best Picture. So that was on my uh, nominations uh, reaction video. Yeah, I think it's actually a, a pretty good lineup for Best Picture. I mean, especially considering the, the year that the world has. So... That's cool. Congrats on 1K sub. Such an underrated channel. What a perfect time for it to happen too. Thank you, man. Thank you. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I guess it's good timing considering uh, Oscars is, is coming around. But uh, yeah, thanks. Thanks. It's my first time here and I can't focus on the reaction because I just keep looking at his wonderful face. Um, I don't think my face is wonderful, man. Uh, you might want to get your eyes checked if you think my face is wonderful. But uh, I, I, will, I uh, appreciate the compliment. Yes. I've been loving your love. <laughs> I've been loving your love for these Minari uh, nominations all season. Yeah, I guess I'm uh, the champion for it. So, uh, you know, if it wins anything big, I'm going to take a lot of credit for that. So, yep, thank you. You're handsome. No, no, I'm not. Thanks, though. Let's see on my Oscar nominations. Um, David Fincher should win for Best Director. He's been directing movies for 30 years since 1991, while Chloe Zhao has been only been directing for six years since 2015. Fincher has a lot more experiences in directing than Chloe Zhao. Overall, David Fincher is a better director than Chloe Zhao. I mean, listen, I, I mean, I would take Fincher in a heartbeat. Um, if you're comparing Mank and No Man Land, it's, it's a little tough. Uh, it's a little tough to say. A lot of people don't really care for Mank, and a lot of people really love No Man Land. Um, but, I mean, like, yeah, I think... See, like, the Oscars just fucked this up. Like, we shouldn't even be having this conversation. Fincher should already have a Best Director Oscar in 2010 for The Social Network. But, see, now he doesn't. And now we have a he's overdue narrative. So, it's their fault. 2019 was the best year for movies since I am into cinema. Same. Same. Like I said, haven't been into movies that long. At least, uh, at least as I am now. Uh, 2019 was definitely a fucking banging year. I mean fucking incredible i personally thought that marriage story should have gotten best picture i was fine with parasite winning i loved a marriage story and i think that it should have won the two main acting awards i don't think laura dern should have won scar joe and adam yes interesting um yeah i mean listen i, I love marriage story it was my second favorite movie of 2019 i um i guess i would have to disagree with best picture just because parasite's there and parasite 100 percent should have gotten it and as it did um but yeah i, I fucking love marriage story i would agree with you with the Mac acting awards um, I'm also fine with Laura Dern winning, as per the video, but um, I get I get it. Might be a hot take, but still feel like Joaquin was the weakest of the best actor noms. So we're talking about the Parasite year. Not saying he was bad, he wasn't, but his performance felt much more showy, while the others felt more substance. Yeah, I mean, that's uh, that's fair. Uh, I think a lot of people um, kind of said that. Just, you know, Joker was a fucking massive wave so people love joker i think joaquin phoenix is very good um like i said in the video i would have gone with adam driver but i can't i'm not even mad about joaquin phoenix winning i love your passion for marriage story behind parasite i thought it was the best movie of the year i hope scarlett johansson and adam driver get another shot at oscar goal one day 100 percent. i mean especially adam driver um he will he will be nominated again very soon i mean it could even be fucking next oscars with depending on house of gucci and uh the last duel i think is that eligible i don't remember 
But yeah, I think I pretty much got through everyone that um, I wanted to get through, at least. Um, okay, yeah, I mean, this was, this was fun. I mean, I, I enjoy doing Q&As. I mean, if I, if I could, I would, I would do them every month. If I mean, if you guys want, I would do it, like, all the time. Like, like maybe, like, once a month or something. But, uh, yeah, that was cool. That's a cool Q&A. Thank you guys uh, once again for over 1,000 subs. I really do appreciate it. And I try to comment a lot, or at least I see them. But, um, yeah, if you guys want to, like, keep in touch, like, I'm usually, honestly, always around. Check the links in the description. You'll see my Twitter, my Letterboxd. And I know some people are asking for it, so I just put it on. But, you know, my Instagram is there, whichever. But, um, yeah, that's that's going to be it, guys. So thank you guys again, 1,000 subs. Please stay safe. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.